Well, everybody's wearing glittered shoes. Everyone yes. wants shiny, sparkly, this and that, right? Who doesn't love a yes. sparkle? And uh, do you think we started anything with all our glitter a couple years ago? No. We must have helped start the trend, right? You did right? start the trend, and I noticed you're wearing some glitter shoes oh, today. Oh, I have the best glitter shoes. Look. <laughs> Very gorgeous. And Martha, I'm but wearing some frozen. glittered shoes, too. Oh, let me see yours. Oh, and you did yours yourself, right? No, these were purchased. Oh, you purchased them. Yeah, I saved I love, a dollar. I love the whole heel done like that. Thank now, you. my heel does not have <laughs> glitter on the inside. I no. think I better glitter that, don't yes. you? Uh, with Use a your glitter. With a turquoise blue glitter inside. Oh, that would be nice. These usually have red soles, you know that fabulous Le Boutin, but I paint them black. Oh, do you? Anyway, let's get started with our sneakers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like red, it doesn't go with everything. Yeah, that's true, black you know? is yeah. more universal. Yes. All right, so we're gonna start with um, a blank shoe and okay. where we've already taped the sides here. And these vans are really great, aren't they? They're so comfortable yeah, and yeah. inexpensive. So tape very carefully. Very carefully the sides, okay. and then we're gonna take a piece of tape here and tape off the toe. Okay, so that's for something else you're gonna put, yes. a, like rhinestones or whatever, For, for right? later. Okay. Okay. And, and make it generous, a generous toe, because those yes. kind of look beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great, and then now we're gonna make our glitter mixture by pouring some Mod Podge. You know, I knew there was another use for Mod Podge. Yes. I knew it. I'm not doing a lot of decoupage these days, but boy, <laughs> I do a lot of glittering. It's a great product. Okay, so we have that. And yeah, generous amount. Okay. And then we'll add uh, about one part glitter to two parts Mod Podge. One the part, more glitter, okay. you could, you know, okay. so eyeball like I, it. I could probably use a half a jar. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And stir. Yes. So it's in the Mod Podge. That yes. is the secret. Aha. Uh -huh. And it'll look a little milky, but it's okay because once it goes on the shoe, you'll see that. But it, it dries clear, right? It does. It dries yeah. clear. It's nice. I think I need more. I put a lot of glue. <laughs> I, no, I put a lot of glue in mine. It doesn't hurt. To, I can do to 14 have, well, I'll pairs. Put a more okay. too. <laughs> and what a great presence these. Oh, for like for a little kid's party to get everybody little sneakers. Yes. And glitter all the sneakers for the kids. That's the everybody best gift. Everybody loves glitter. Yes. So that's, that's glittery enough, right? Perfect. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start applying and just, you know, be generous with it. Okay. Now you do the whole sneaker. You the just, whole oh, sneaker. Oh, this goes on so nicely. It does. Ooh, it's fantastic. So you'll end up, you'll, this is our first coat. You'll put three to four coats depending okay. on how much glitter, you know, you've put in your mixture. Okay. And it's okay if you get it on the little grommets here because at the end you can just... Oh, wipe, wipe them off oh, with you your can? fingertip. Uh, oh, okay. And it dries rather quickly. Okay. All right, I get the idea. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And so... So how many coats does this sneaker have here? This sneaker here has had three to four coats. And I just want to make this one smooth so we can actually use this sneaker. I think this is my size. Oh, good. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So then we're moving on to the, the shoe where we've Done, three yeah. to four coats, and then we'll take the tape off. Okay. Ooh, it's so great. I know, this is the most fun part. So fantastic. And take off the toe, Yeah, the toe take tape. it all off. Okay. And then your, you know, your tape on the toe has left a perfect little line there. So, a, so this, is a, this is a really fun craft. Yes. Now your blog is very well visited. You have millions of people looking at your blog in a year, millions. Yeah. So where do you find all these ideas? And do you make them up too? Yes, we do. We're really inspired by everything we see on the runways and on the streets. It's um, all fashion? Pretty all much? fashion yes, mostly. Fashion. We feature some art. Yeah, and you have your partner in the audience, we Lauren. Do. How are Lauren. you? I'm good. So, how are you? So nice to see you. Thank you. So you do the crafting and you do the, or we, you both do everything? Well, Erica is our craft expert, but I do a little bit of uh, fashion, and I like to talk about artists. You don't have glitters on. No. I know. Eric hasn't made me a pair. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, those aren't my size. <laughs> well, I'll give you this. Get those shoes, but those are pretty fabulous shoes. Now, yes, you we talked about this designer as well. You tell me how to make a pair of those. <laughs> I think you need to tell us how to make a pair of these. Okay. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> well, okay, so now how are we going to embellish the okay, toe? Okay, so we're going to use this really great bonding agent, E6000. Oh, I love this. I can't live without it. It's so I use it. Actually, I used it yesterday. To, oh, you did? Yeah, to reaffix something that had fallen off something else. Oh, hmm. great. <laughs> Okay, so what do so we do? So you're gonna put, you're gonna take each rhinestone and start yes. from the middle. This is you can have you know experiment 
do whatever, make okay. whatever pattern you want. So um, you put this on here? Yep. Okay. And I like to start in the center and move. Yeah, I think that's way and, out. and you want you want a nice symmetrical kind of not a messy design. Right. You actually want a design. And I actually use tweezers normally, but I've learned um, recently about a little trick that you. Oh, use. don't you love our trick? Yeah. Yes. Tell. So you, oh, you can tell. tell oh. The trick. Well, I guess you put some beeswax. Beeswax on the end of a skewer, and it picks things up very nicely. Watch this. See. And then that's that's what some fine jewelers do. You can pick up the tiniest to the largest stone. <gasps> Fab, look. Oh, gorgeous. Mm. Gorgeous. Oh no, this stuff is so fun to do. Yeah. And it's creative. It's it's not it's not and you end up with something that's worth four hundred and fifty dollars. Exactly. That's pretty fantastic. There's no right or wrong. No. Just sort of play with it. However mm. you like. So now we need, oh, I don't have enough of these. So you'll just keep going and work, on, work your way out. And at the end, this is the final result. Fantastic. <laughs>